The diagram shows the graph of y is equal to x ln of x plus 3x minus x squared. Show that the uh, x co coordinate or the maximum point on the curve may be found from the equation ln of x plus 4 minus 2x is equal to 0. Use fixed point iteration to find the x coordinate of the maximum point on the curve y is equal to x ln of x plus 3x minus x squared, giving your answer correct to five decimal places and then show that this x coordinate gives a maximum value. Okay, in order to find a maximum point, we need to differentiate the uh, function. This, so dy by dx, this bit here will have to be done using the product rule. So that's going to be x times the derivative of ln of x, which is one over x, plus v, which is ln of x times the derivative of x, which is one. Derivative of three x is 3, the deriv derivative of minus to x squared is minus 2x. The, these then cancel, so you get 1 plus ln of x plus 3 minus 2x. And you get ln of x plus 4 minus 2x. For a maximum uh, point, dy by dx will have to be equal to 0. Therefore, ln of x plus 4 minus 2x will be equal to 0 as required. Right, so we're going to have to use fixed point iteration. So we have to use the graph to get a value from the graph. So I'm going to take uh, 2.4, that seems very close to the uh, maximum point, as x0. And then we're going to rearrange this. And there's more than one rearrangement. Some might converge quicker than others, or some might even diverge. So using fixed point iteration, x0 is equal to 2.4 from the graph. And then we're going to... Uh, Rearrange our thing as making the x a subject from here. So we're going to have that 2x is ln of x plus 4, therefore x is ln of x plus 4 over 2. Right, so if we now go to our cal calculator, okay, and we put in 2.4 first, so you put in x0 first and then just press the equals button, and then we set this up as ln, so a fraction button, ln of the answer plus 4 over over uh, 2 okay, and then if we put that at, at the end, oops and press uh, enter, that will give me the first iteration. And then we can continue that process. If we keep pressing the equals buttons, we will get, you need to write down all the iterations though, so you, you, you can keep getting the iterations as far as you actually need. Okay, it's looking like it's going to be like uh, 2.44754 to the required degree of accuracy. Okay, so writing down the iteration values, so you should actually show how you put the first one in. Okay, and then you can get the other ones. You just need to write them down from your calculator. Okay, if you stopped here, you might get the answer wrong, you see. Okay, so make, be really sure that you got the right degree of accuracy. Okay, so we want it to uh, five decimal places. So it's two point four four seven five four, and therefore, if we want to find the uh, whether that is a maximum point, if we take the derivative and find the second derivative, so it's going to be one over x, nothing from the four minus two and then put that value, last value in, to so put in when x is equal to 2.44757, so 2.44754, all right, that's very easy to see that it's negative, and therefore by the second derivative test, that will be a local maximum by the second derivative test. So, okay, so don't forget to write down the um, conclusion. Okay, this has been a video to show you how to do fixed point iteration. Uh, using the Casio calculator, um, that, that method of using answer does work on a normal non-graphic calculator as well. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.